Hi friends, today I'm going to prove inverse trigonometry identity then is number one sine inverse of minus x is minus sine inverse of x and that x is between minus one and one and number two tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse of x and x belongs to real number and cosine inverse of minus x is minus cosine inverse of x and x is greater than or equal to one or less than or equal to minus one so let's prove this so number one let sine inverse of minus x is equal to y so minus x is equal to sine of y and again and if you transfer this minus here x is equal to minus sine y and so x is equal to we know from trigo minus sine of y is same as sine of minus y and this one if you transfer here we get sine inverse of x equal to minus y and if you multiply both side by minus we get minus sine inverse of x is equal to y so lastly y is same as this one so sine inverse of minus x is minus sine inverse of x so this is identity one and for second for second let's same thing tan inverse of minus x is equal to y so which which mean minus x is tan y and so if you multiply both side by minus x is equal to minus tan of y so x is equal to we know from trigo that minus tan y is just tan of minus y and this come here again so we will get tan inverse of x is equal to minus y so if you multiply both side by minus again minus tan inverse of x is equal to y so y is nothing but it is tan inverse of minus x so tan inverse of minus x is minus tan inverse of x so this is second identity and for third then is cosine inverse of minus x is equal to minus cosine inverse of x this will be same thing again let cosec inverse of minus x is equal to y so this minus x is equal to cosec inverse of y cosec of y now if you multiply both sides by minus x is equal to minus cosec of y and x is equal to from trigo minus cosec of y is cosec of minus y and so if you transfer here you will get cosec inverse of x is equal to minus y so if you multiply both side by uh, negative negative of cosec inverse of x is equal to y and so lastly this y is nothing but cosec inverse of minus x so in this cosec inverse of minus x is equal to minus cosec inverse of x so let's prove